Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Hopefully that's enough light. It keeps readjusting. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about predicting the future of EOS. I, I think that would make a really, really cool video. Um, I could maybe get an Ouija board and I could, you know, have everything really dark and maybe have a flashlight on the Ouija board. And I could put my, my fingers on it and we could say, what's going to be the price of EOS in a year? And the Ouija board could move around a little bit and point to a one and then you know, then point to a zero, and then we point to another zero, and then and then we think maybe there's another number, like maybe a triple-digit number, maybe a, a four-digit number. But anyway, we could be, we could kind of like, you know, seek some some advice, some some future advice on EOS. And I was kind of thinking about that, and I was walking around Carlsbad, and I actually found this machine. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's in the dark here. It's a fortune-telling machine. Uh, it's actually kind of creepy, but uh, anyway, you put money in and this uh, machine, I don't know if you can read the name or not, She's, her name is uh, Esmeralda, she can predict your fortune. So I think it'd be kind of cool to like give Esmeralda some money and let her predict the future of EOS, so we kind of know what the future's going to be. It'd be really cool. Anyway, we could do some really cool stuff with that. But. I want to talk a little bit about predicting the future, and I want to talk a little bit about that because that's what this is all about. I believe predicting the future is a sign of intelligence, being able to foresee things that haven't happened yet, being able to predict trends and be able to predict technologies and future things out in the future and doing it ahead of, ahead of, the, ahead of, ahead of everybody else, ahead of, the, uh, ahead of the crowd, being able to predict what's going to happen. So. I want to make some predictions tonight, or actually want to talk about some predictions and talk about not specific predictions because everybody knows what my specific predictions are, but just talk about in general how I see the future with EOS and blockchain. And you know, there's always some things you can use. There's always some little uh, hints that you could look at, some, uh, some little trends you can see, some, some things kind of happening in the background that give you some idea where things are going. Uh, one of the things that's going on is there's a big companies that are starting to adopt block, blockchain. Uh, huge companies that are starting to see the value of blockchain. And as, in, in, in the case of EOS, you have you have one of the developers, one, one of the one of the one of the one of the really great developers of blockchain involved with EOS. That's a predictor of future. I mean, if you got people who are really good and involved with something. When I was a stockbroker. I remember people used to overanalyze things. I, in fact, I talked to a guy who had been, he was actually the broker dealer, one of the big broker dealers uh, when I was a broker, and he used to say, I don't care about the numbers, just tell me who's involved. If I like the people involved, I'll buy the deal. I don't really care about the numbers. I don't care how many shares outstanding. I don't care what the price is. I don't care how much money they raise. I just want to know who's involved. And he was a very educated, seasoned, investor who had made a lot of money in the market and all he cared about was who was involved. If the good people were involved, he was all in. If people he'd never heard of was involved, he didn't want anything to do with the deal. So uh, predicting future based on who's involved is very, very important. Don't ever discount that. If you got people that have had past success involved, it's a good chance they're going to have future success. So in the, in the, in the, in the, in the case of EOS, you know, one of the one of the brilliant minds of the blockchain is involved. Everybody knows who he is. Everybody talks about him. That's a very, very uh, good indicator of future success for EOS. Another indicator of success for EOS is how much money they've raised. They've raised a lot of money. And when you raise that kind of money, you can kind of predict success. So if you look out into the future and you try to envision what's going to happen, you see somebody that's, you see some, you know, um, a, a company that's raised billions and billions of dollars, you can kind of predict success. You can kind of predict future success because they've raised so much money. Somebody had to uh, invest in this. And the numbers of people that invested in this saw something. They just didn't throw their, 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 their money at some sort of a, a wild shot in the dark. You know, a lot of people that invested this kind of money. They had, they had to invest, they had to do some research to do this. They had to do some research. You don't raise billions of dollars without something, some research, some technology, some ideas, 
uh, some uh, due diligence is what we used to call it. Due diligence. You have to do some due diligence in order to raise that kind of money. So there's obviously due diligence involved. That's why this kind of money got raised. And then the next thing to predict the future is just the, uh, the potential of what can be built. Like I said the other night, I mean, we literally can put our identities now on the blockchain, have it safe, secure, and only be able to access by certain people, and it can be done in a lightning speed, lightning speed, and really reducing the time spent trying to uh, identify ourselves when we're doing a transaction. Uh, other things that the blockchain is going to do, it's going to save a lot of money for people. It's going to save fees. You know, uh, there's so many fees involved with transactions because transactions have to be verified. So, you know, whenever you verify, it costs money. Somebody, a third party has to be involved. Think of the amount of money it's going to be saved on blockchain by using blockchain just because of verification. Uh, now let's just look at everything else that could be done with blockchain. The recording of information in my camera just really isn't focusing very well tonight. I'm not in a great spot. I had to get in this spot because I wanted to show you Esmeralda and, and look at the future predictor. But anyway, we could pretty well predict the future by just looking at the current day events, Look, what, looking what's going on. You can kind of project this into the future and see where it's going. And you could see it's going, you know, to be a very big, very, very, very big thing. Blockchain's going to be huge. And a company like EOS that's got the platform that a lot of dApps are going to be running on is going to be really big. So you got to project the future a little bit. You got to think ahead. We can get the Ouija board out. We can ask Esmeralda, but we don't really need to do that. All we need to do is look at how what we what we know today about the company and uh, what we know about EOS. Uh, one person said it's not a company. I don't, I don't know how you would say that. It's really a software. So I guess I like to call it a company because that's just the way I refer to things. But it's a software. It's a really big software. It's a really well-planned, well-laid-out, well-financed software. So predicting the future with EOS is pretty easy. It's really pretty simple. It's pretty basic. It's pretty easy. You know, you can understand where this is going. You can see how big this is going to be. It's, it's, it, 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 you don't need Ouija boards and, you know, seances and all the other kind of stuff to predict what's going to go on here. It's pretty obvious. And I see very few people... Very few people, as far as the size of this uh, this project, very, very few people really recognizing how big this is going to be. So uh, we could predict all day long, but uh, I already know what's going to happen. And I think if you watch these videos and you do a little research, I think you're going to know what's going to happen too. It's going to be a lot bigger thing. So anyway, I appreciate you watching tonight. Thank you very much.